everybody welcome back to my channel today I am making crock pot red beans and rice with sausage this is a recipe that I've made before what well, not this recipe in particular but I've made one very one that's very similar so but I wanted to try this one out so I'm making it for you today sorry if you can hear my kids in the background but um, the first thing I did is I soaked my beans overnight and then now I have drained off the water and I rinsed it and now I'm just going to add it to my crock pot over here that's where I'm doing. I have um, oil warming up in my pan right here now I'm going to just add my beans to my crock pot and over here I have already chopped up an onion and a half a pound of my sausage and half of a green bell pepper and I am going to be sauteing them in this pan over here so let me go ahead and add those to the pan I'm just going to brown these up and the last 30 seconds, I'm going to add garlic. Now I'm gonna put six cloves of garlic into the pan. Now I'm gonna move all the contents over from the pan to the crock pot. Now you're going to add the rest of the ingredients to the crock pot. And those ingredients are two bay leaves, six cups of hot water, one teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, one and a half teaspoons of paprika, half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of dried orego, oregano, one teaspoon of dried thyme, and then you're supposed to use four cups of cooked, well they say white rice, but I'm just gonna use this ready rice, cause I'm lazy, <laughs> and I'm gonna use the whole grain brown rice cause I like the taste of it, so, I'm just going to use two of these bags. Not sure if that's how many cups that is, but we're just going to improvise. Improvise. And I don't know if any of that was in focus. Let's hope so. After adding all those ingredients, you're going to incorporate them all together, stir them in together, and then you're going to you're going to cook on high for two hours then you're going to turn the crock pot to low and continue to cook for four to five hours or until the beans are tender it has been cooking for three hours and it was supposed to bob one in here to put a teaspoon of salt so it could cook for another hour but i just tested one of the beans and it it, it seems to me to be fully cooked let me try it again yeah that's that's fully cooked. So I'm just gonna go ahead and say that that's that's done. And so I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit. Put all the rice at the top here. Oh, there's a bay leaf. I'm gonna go ahead and take one of that bay leaf out. You're supposed to take bay leaves out when you're done. But then you're supposed to to thicken the sauce. You're supposed to smash about a fourth of the beans against the side of the slow cooker. And if you want it even thicker, you can turn the crock pot on high and leave it on and leave off the cover to reduce the liquid. Or you can mix one tablespoon of cornstarch with two tablespoons of hot water and stir into beans before letting it cook for another 20 minutes. But I think this looks good, personally. It looks like a lot of rice. But then again, I put two packages in there. So this is probably more than four, four, uh, 
four cups. <laughs> All right, here is the finished product. There is definitely a lot of rice. <laughs> but it looks good. If it looks good to you, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell so you never miss my, any of my other videos. And put down in the comments if you think you might make this meal. And put down some of uh, some other ideas that you would like me to make. Alright. I'll see y'all next time. Thanks. Bye.